questions. Today we are going to solve a beautiful question from this 2023, that section A, question number 17, and this is basically from oscillation. So it is mentioned in that question that you have a two mass M and 4M. They are subjected to a force F equals to minus Kx, and they are restricted to move along X axis. And also it is mentioned that that mass M start from rest at x on t equals to 0 equals to A. I mean this mass M start journey from right extreme position. On the other hand, that 4M mass starts from rest at x2 t equals to 0 equals to minus a. Okay. And that force is given that is f equals to they are subjected to this force minus kx. So then that question is at what point on the x axis they will first collide. Okay. So there are four options is given. You have a x is equal to a by 2 and then you have x is equal to minus a by 2 and then you have x equals to minus a by 4 and last x equals to 0. Okay. So first of all they have different mass but force constant is same. Now if I calculate, if I calculate that frequency of oscillation for, let us assume uh, for this mass, for mass m, that frequency of oscillation omega will be how much? That will be simply root over k by m. Okay. But for this mass, for, for a mass, that frequency of oscillation that will be root over k by 4m and obviously that will be omega 1 by 2. So frequency of oscillation of 4m, 4m mass is half of the frequency of oscillation of m mass. It means time period of oscillation, if the time period of oscillation of this mass is t on for mass m, then the time period of oscillation of 4m mass that will be t2 and that T2 will be equals to twice of T1. Because there is an inverse relationship between time period and angular frequency. Since omega 2 is half of omega 1, so obviously time period of oscillation of 4 m mass will be twice of time period of oscillation of m mass. Now see. It's interesting, uh, this two option will automatically be cancelled here because this mass started journey from positive extreme condition, it will take time to reach to the mean position that time will be T1 by 4. How will do that? You will have a T1 by 4, then T1 by 4, T1 by 2, then T1 by 4 again, 3 T1 by 4, then T1 by 4, that will be your complete T1. So, the time required to reach that m mass from this extreme uh, extreme position to mean position that will be t1 by 4. Okay. But time required to uh, reach that 4m mass from here to here that will be t2 by 4. And you know that t2 is nothing but twice t1. It means it will take much time to reach from this, uh, from negative extreme condition, extreme position to mean position. It will take t1 by t, uh, t1 by 2 time. On the other hand, it will be only t1 by 4. It means this motion, motion of m mass is, I mean, very fast as compared to 4m mass. So, as a result, yaha se, yaha tak jab aapka aega, m mass 
तो आपका फोर एम मास यहाँ पहुंच ही नहीं पाएगा है ना तो कोलिजोन तो ऑब्वियसली दैट कोलिजोन कैन नॉट बी ऑकर एट दिस पोजिशन एज वेल एज एट दिस पोजिशन यहाँ पे आपका हो ही नहीं सकता है कोलिजन क्योंकि इनका जो मोशन है दैट इज फर्स्ट एज कम्पेयर टू फोर एम मास दिस ऑप्शन विल नॉट बी करेक्ट ओनली देर आर टू ऑप्शन रिमेनिंग Now, if you learn that uh, oscillation uh, theory, if the particles start journey from right extreme, then x on I can write that will be your a of cosine omega on t. Okay. On the other hand, if the particles start journey from negative extreme condition, then x two that will be Your minus a cosine of omega two. So omega two is the frequency of this particle. That's why I'm taking omega two. Here omega one is the frequency of this particle. So I'm taking here omega one. Now I have to check whether this one will be correct or this one will be correct. So let me take this. Okay. So if both particles If both particles is having same position at same times, it means they will be collide. So I'll check the time required to reach this forum particle at x equals to minus a by two this position, and time required to reach that m particle at x equals to minus a by two. And I'll compare if that time is correct. I mean, if the time is matching, it means at this position there will be collision. That will occur. So it means that both particles are at the same position at the same times. Of course, there will be collision. So let me check, or let us check, one by one. Now, if I substitute that x two equals to minus a by two for for a mass. So on the right hand side, you will have minus a cosine of omega two t. So this a will be cancelled, minus will be cancelled as a result. You will get cosine of omega two t. That will be your one by two. And one by two means what? You will have cosine of pi by t. Right? It means omega two t equals to pi by three. Or let me take ah. Uh, Different different time. Let me take this will be a t two. Let me take different notation. It means t two will be pi by three uh, omega two, and we know that omega two is nothing but omega one by two. If you substitute it, you will get t two that will be two pi is two pi divided uh, divided by three omega one. So this is mass time is required to reach that. For a mass at x equals to minus a by two. Again, if you check the time required to reach that x equals to minus a by two for a mass, if you check that, then you'll have x one equals to minus a by two, and that I can compare with a cosine of omega one t. And a will be cancelled, so it means that will be equal to minus one by two. And let me take this is t one. So it means minus one by two means what? Cosine of two pi by three. So it means if you calculate t one from here, you will get two pi by three omega one. So I can see that both particle are. Observe to be at x equals to minus a by two at the same time. Time I can see t one equals to two pi by three or three omega one. T two is also two pi by three omega one. So it means that correct option, that first collision will occur at x equals to minus a by two because both particles are found uh, are observed to be at this position at the same time. So this will be the correct option. And the question is very nice. Just you have to use that concept of oscillation. Thank you.